Hello student. Today in semantic data control, I will explain you what is semantic integrity control. Another important and difficult problem for a database system is how to, to guarantee database consistency. It's a big problem. How? A database consistency. It's correct or not. So a database state is said to be consistent if the database satisfied a set of constraint called semantic integrity constraint. Maintaining a consistent database requires various mechanisms such as concurrency control, reliability, protection, semantic integrity control. Semantic integrity control ensure database consistency by rejecting update programs which lead to inconsistent database state or by activating a specific action on the database state which compensate for the effect of the update programs. In general, Semantic integrity constraints are rules that represent the knowledge about the properties of an application. They define a static or dynamic application property which cannot be directly captured by the object and operation concept of the data model. Thus, the concept of an integrity rule is strongly concept connected with that of a data model in the sense that more semantic information about the application can be captured by means of their rules. Conceptual and integrity constraint can be checked by negation it, uh, it and checking it the query we get by negating the integrity constraint is empty or not. By using this equation we can find it. Keeping a database consistent by enforcing a set of constraints is a, is a difficult problem in terms of performance. Now, semantic integrity control in, involve, evolved from procedural method in which the control were embedded in application program to declarative methods. Avoid data dependency problem, code redundancy, poor performance of the procedural methods. Now, two main types of integrity constraint can, can be distinguished. Number one, <coughs> number one, a structural constraint express basic semantic properties inherent to a model. For example, such constraint are unique key constraint in the relational model or one to many association between object in the network models. Second is behavioral constraint. On the other hand, regulate the application behavior. Thus, they are essential in the database design process. They can express association between objects such as inclusion, dependency in the relation, relational model or describe object properties and structure. Thus, a set of semantic integrity Assertion defined database consistency. A semantic integrity control system has two components integrity constraint specification and integrity constraint enforcement. Number one integrity constraint specifications. 
integrity constraint should be manipulated by the database administrator using a high level language in relational database system integrity constraint are defined as assertions and assertion is a particular expression of tuple relation calculus in which each variable is either universally or ex existentially qualified thus an assertion can be seen as a query qualification that is either true or false for each tuple in the cartesian product of the relation determined by the tuple variables now we can distinguish between three types of integrity constraint number 1 predefined number 2 precompiled number 3 general constraint here example of integrity constraint will be given on the following database here the table e empno which has three field eno e name title project pn pno p name budget asg eno pno respdur here predefined constraint predefined constraint are based on simple keywords through them it is possible to express concisely the more common constraint of the relational model such as none null attribute unique key foreign key or functional dependency for example employee number in emp cannot be null like this eno not null in emp unique key for example in pair eno pno is the unique key in asg bracket mein eno field ka jo columns names hai that is pno unique in asg this is the pair foreign key the project number pno in relation asg is the foreign key matching the primary key pno of the relation proj in other words a project referred to in relation asg must exist in relation proj so pno in asg referenced pno in proj this is the foreign key functional dependency the employee number function determine the employee name here eno in emp determines e name the next one is pre compiled constraint pre compiled constraint expresses pre condition that must be satisfied by all tuple in a relation for a given update type the update type which might insert delete modify permits restri restricting the integrity control pre compiled constraint can be expressed with the sql check statement enriched with the ability to specify the update type the syntax of the check statement is check on relation name when update type qualification over relation name this is the syntax of check constraint for example domain constraint the budget of a project is between 500k and 1000k here we write here check on project budget greater than equal to 5000 and less than equal to 1000k the next is transaction constraint the budget of a project can only increase check on project new dot budget greater than old dot budget and new dot pno equal to old dot pno old and new are in are implicitly defined variable to identify the tuple that are subject to update the next one is general constraint general constraint are formula of tuple relation calculus where all the variable variables are qualified a general constraint may be expressed with the following syntax check on the list of variable name relation name qualifications functional for example functional dependency the constraint uh, uh, here express check on 
e e1 colon emp comma e2 colon e emp bracket me e1 dot e name equal to e2 dot e name if e1 dot e n equal to e1 dot e n o e2 dot e n o e this example is based on the above formula constant with aggregate functions the total duration for all the employee in the cat project is less than 100 you can write like this now integrity enforcement enforcing semantic integrity consists of rejecting update program that violate some integrity constant a constant is violated when it become false in the new database state produced by the update a major difficulty in designing an integrity subs system is finding an efficient enforcement algorithm here two basic method permit the rejection of inconsistent update the first one is the based on the deletion of inconsistencies the update u is executed causing a change of database state d to du the enforcement algorithm verifies by applying test derived from these constraint that all relevant constraint hold in a state du if state du is inconsistent the dbms can try either to reach another const consistent state d dash u by modifying du with compensation action or to restore state d by undoing small u since these tests are applied after having changed the database state they are generally called post test this approach may be inefficient if a large amount of work must be undone in the case of integrity failure the second method is based on the preventions is un prevention of inconsistencies an update is executed only if it changes the database state to consistent state For example, the query of increasing budget of CAD CAM project by 10% which would be specified as you can write from this command and the second it will transfer this statement it's transferred into the following query in order to enforce the domain constraint like update project set project budget equal to budget into 1.8 where prime equal to P name equal to cat cam and condition which is given above the query modification algorithm which is well known for its elegance produce pretest at runtime by ending the assertion predicate which is which uh, the update uh, predicate of each in instruction of the transactions so by using this example we can check Now the next topic is distribution uh, uh, definition of distributed integrity assertions. Three classes of distributed integrity uh, constraint assertions are distinguished. Number one, individual assertion means single relation, single variable assertion. They refer only to tuple to be updated independently of the rest of the database. For example, domain constraint. Number two, set oriented assertions. It includes single relation multivariables constraints such as uh, functional dependencies and multi-relational multivariables constraint such as foreign key constraint. And the third one, assertion involving aggregate, requires special processing because of the cost of evaluating the aggregates. Special cost processing or aggregate required. Now the next is enforcement distributed integrity assertions enforcing the distributed integrity assertion is, is more complex than needed in centralized dbms the main problem is to decide where to enforce the integrity assertions the choice depends on the class of the assertion the type of update and the nature of the of the site where the update is issued
The definition of a new integrity organization can be started at one of the site that is true the relation involved in organization but need to be propagated to site that might store fragment of that relation. It is divided into uh, types of strategy according to the criteria. Number one, individual assertion. Two cases are considered. If the update is an insert statement, all the tuple to be inserted are explicitly provided by the user. In this case, all individual assertion can be enforced at the site where the update is submitted. If the update is qualified update, it is sent to the site storing the relation that will be updated. The query processor execute the update qualification for each fragment. The second one is set oriented assertion. We first single uh, study single relation constant by means of examples. Here it involves join, store if satisfied. Typically satisfaction, uh, satisfaction must be determined by evaluating query fully. For example, join all fragments. So these are the different points which are related to semantic integrity con controls. I hope you all understand. Thank you for watching my video lecture.